today I'm now going to talk about what causes paper jams. A paper jam is something when when the paper gets stored inside the machine while it's trying to print. Sometimes it can either be a broken gear or a long roller. Sometimes it can be both, but it can, but most mostly in most instances it's only one. Now you may ask what causes a paper jam to cause? What happens? Well, most common problem is when the paper can't, cannot be picked from the tray. Or the paper can be multi-fed, causing a jam as well. It is a good idea to check your rollers every time you change the toner. That is the that is the most the, that is most of the time when you when you try and maintain the machine. It is a good idea to do that because you may be able to monitor how often the rolls get changed. Usually, a roll has to be changed every every hundred pages or one hundred toners or every ten toners, whatever it is, but. A toner yield is up to six, six hundred, six thousand to what to twenty thousand pages, which is I think up to a hundred, up to one hundred toners. Um, what can also cause a jam is a broken gear. Gears are either plastic or metal. Usually nowadays it is plastic, and that can get brittle by heat and paper dust and a mixture of toner which forms a gunk. Sometimes you can't clean the gunk but most of the time you can. Sometimes you can't, sometimes you can, but most of the time you can't. There's also another option that's called re rejuvenation of rollers. I do not recommend that because I believe it is a band-aid. And, the ba and what, why I believe it's a band-aid, because I think it is a shortcut and it's not a good idea. I recommend that you should replace the rollers with a quality OEM or quality aftermarket. But I, but I prefer for you to replace it with OEM. Because OEM lasts longer, sometimes you cannot get OEM anymore with some models, nor aftermarket. That means rejuvenation of rollers is the last result, and it's not a good idea. It's also called a roller cleaner as well, and it's also it's a good way to maintain the rollers while it's working fine. It cleans the rollers pretty well. It's a good cleaning. It's good for cleaning up rollers while you change the toner. That is how I prefer people use it for. That's the better way of using it than just using it as a repair. I believe it's more like a cleaning solution than a repair issue. It, you're not actually repairing the rollers, you're actually just cleaning it. And that is how technicians can make their money out of it by, you, by making old rollers and new rollers. That to me is just unethical and no good. It can happen. I never, I never heard instances have been happening, but it can happen. Anything's possible in an in ARG regulated industry. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, hope this informs you.